Yeah, yeah, I know what you're thinking. You can get a job in the Middle East simply by trying or by magic through others or by a fluke. Remember that competition is everywhere. Some here, some there, but bam, Loy Macedo is the best. All right, uh, this video is uh, kind of inspired and in response to one of the young members in my groups, okay? And uh, to my group members who follow my YouTube channel, please don't uh, name and shame him because he genuinely asked a question for which I did rag him. But uh, even though he didn't ask me, I'm making this video. Now, This the video topic is about having a physique. But more than that, it's about speaking about the ignorance and uh, stupidity people have with regards to information online. So it's two, three things which I'm going to uh, share in this video. So feel free to put your comments down below. But please remember, don't mention his name and don't make fun of him. Okay, uh, I'll take it very personally if you do. And you know, break rules, you're out of my group, permanent. So to this young man whose name starts with A, 20 year old boy, 20 year old young man, 22 or 23, okay, in that range. And he posted this question to two of my groups. Uh, I think one was self-improvement and one was the physique, bodybuilding. So what he mentioned is, Guys help, uh, I'm paraphrasing, he said, guys help, uh, I want to build a physique, I want to have shape. But the problem is I have baby fat. Can you help me to get rid of baby fat? And, uh, you know, WhatsApp University, automatically all, <laughs> all the 20 year olds became bodybuilding coaches and seasoned trainers and nutritionists and experts in the field of bodybuilding, nutrition, uh, muscular development, all, all the 20 year olds. So, so much of advice. Oh, you need to eat this, eat protein, eat fish, eat chicken, avoid rice and drink water and train hard and blah, 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 went on, went on. And I was just listening, reading. Hmm. Okay, this follow this protocol, these five steps, four steps and this, and blah, 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 they went on. I was looking at all this and, hmm. okay. So after everyone finished giving their circus advice, I finally chimed in. I rarely do, but when I do, I am there. So I'd finished work. So I said, you know, what the fuck are you guys doing? Like, here is one guy who claims I have baby fat. What the fuck is baby fat? What is baby fat? You're 20 year old. What is baby fat? Then if you have baby fat, what about teen fat? What about adult fat? Then shouldn't there be some midlife fat and then old fat? Then, you know, when you die, death fat. What stupidity. Yeah. And then if that is a category, uh, you know, there should be ladies fat and men's fat and there should be all different kinds of facts, right? Stupidity. And then I said, you guys are giving him advice on what exercise to do and what food to eat. Did you even ask him what the fuck does he do in the first place? What exercise does he do? What nutritional program does he follow? And uh, then I said, I can challenge you openly, all of you. He doesn't maintain a journal. He doesn't know what exercise he does. He doesn't have a program, he doesn't have a commitment, he doesn't know what he eats, he doesn't know why he's eating what he's eating. Nothing, he's just randomly doing whatever jack shit he wants. And now he's asking the group, yeah, baby fat, yeah, baby fat. You just have fat. What is fat? Excess. The excess stuff that you keep shoving in your mouth. And why do you have it? 
because you don't need it. It's simply stored. And why is it you don't have a shape? Because you don't do any exercise to stimulate muscle growth. That's why you might look like a typical, they call this Indian physique, skinny fat. You know, you're skinny, but still have a tummy. Stupidity, man, absolute and utter stupidity. So, I didn't answer him that time because I knew it's going to take long. So, that's why I'm making this video now. So, if you're like him and you have this thing about, oh, I'm fat, skinny fat and I want to lose weight and or lose the fat and gain muscle and... See, first things first, okay, first things first. It's, it's like this, I'll give you the perfect analogy. If somebody comes up to you and says, hey man, I want to be the first rank holder, the highest marks, uh, I want to get the highest marks in class or in this subject, okay? Help me. Do you think all of a sudden, if the guy is, he comes up to you and say, I want to get the first rank. You want to say, yeah, 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 first rank, do these 10 steps. No. If someone comes to you and says, I want to get the highest marks, the number one. First, you'll ask him, okay, let's sit down at a free time and let's talk, okay? So when you sit down, you first ask, okay, first, what marks do you currently get? So if the guy is getting just passing marks, it's not going to be possible for him to get first rank or highest marks, just like that. It's going to be an uphill battle. CV, it might take him one year, two year, three years, until he trains his himself, his memory. And then if he is, let's say, uh, average or above, let's assume he is the second rank holder. Then obviously your strategy would be different to that who gets just pass marks. So first you need to figure out in terms of your physique, where are you at the moment? What is your height? What is your weight? Okay. What activities do you do? Do you go to the gym? If yes, what, what is the protocol you follow? Three times a week, four times a week, five times a week? Do you train for half an hour, one hour? Do you train high intensity, medium intensity, low intensity? Uh, do you do split body part? Do you do compound movements? Do you do machine based movements? Do you do heavy? Do you do light? See, there are so many things to consider. Yeah. And after you've taken down everything that he does, then you actually have to sit down and see how does he do the exercise. See, he can say, I do uh, 50 kilos, I push for my chest. Okay, do it and show me. Tell him not to, I would have told the student, don't go to the machine. Show me with a free bar. Okay, show me how do you do it. So there I can figure out, is he doing the correct technique or is not? And then I'll just keep quiet, take down notes. And then after that, ask him, okay, do your exercise, continue, finish the number of sets. Then show me what you'll do next, show me what you'll do next, show me. So after I've observed what he's doing, okay, and finished, okay, this is for chest. Next day, okay, back, then legs, then. So after I've seen all that, maybe I have notes, maybe I have video footage, maybe I have photographs. Then we change the protocol. You are doing shit, you are doing all wrong stuff. We need to change it. That's step number one. Second one is nutrition. What are you eating? For that, you need to jot down. What did you eat for breakfast? Take a photograph. What was the weight? Check the grams. What was the portion size? Okay. You need to know all, you need to be meticulous, man. <sighs> now I know what you'll say. Hey man, I don't want to go that extreme. I just want, yeah, if you're looking then for casual results, casual, then just go to the gym and push some heavy weight here and there. You'll see muscle growth happening at some places. Like for example, most of the Indians train only the upper body. They never train their legs. That is why you'll see muscular chest and shoulders and arms. But legs, they'll never show you. They'll always wear. Like this actor, his name is Rithik Roshan. He never shows his legs. He has piddly legs. He'll never show. He's like a toothpick. You know, a muscled body on two toothpicks. 
So why most of the Indian film actors, they only show the upper body. Never will they show the lower body. Never. Very rarely. Why? Because they want the upper body shape. But if you are someone who's serious about his life, his physique, his health, you'll train both the legs, the back, the areas which cannot be seen. Why do you think Hrithik Roshan has multiple problems with his spine and legs and knees? His upper body, his, ha his arms are bigger than someone's legs. But his legs are skinnier than, uh, as skinny as a female who never trains. So it's pathetic, man. So then comes nutrition. So, write down what do you eat? If not the grams, if not the thing, at least have an idea what you eat, you know? What do you eat morning? What do you eat afternoon? What do you eat evening? What do you eat in between? How many times do you eat? You need to gauge the calories, no? And then after you have a whole one week or one month's data, then you have an understanding what does the person put in his body? Because, okay, you tell someone, okay, eat meat. Yeah, eat meat, but is he stimulating the muscle to absorb the meat? Or is he just stuffing his mouth with meat, but he's not doing anything? Like this guy, when I, when I asked him, tell me what exercise you're doing, he said, can I send you privately? I said, no. You ask a question publicly, you send it public. He's saying, I do jogging or I do running once week or twice a week or something, he said. Yeah, you go one hour walking or jogging. What shape you'll get, man? See, I'm walking. What shape did I get? Did I get any shape? You see so many people in the village, they're walking. Do they have any shape? What shit do you talk here? Yeah, this is a problem with WhatsApp University and uh, having access to the internet and reading garbage. And then pe people see these ads that come on YouTube and Instagram, the guy with six pack and a perfect godlike physique, like as if he's some Marvel character. And they'll show an ad, oh, uh, does this kill metabolism, these bananas and, oh, I eat sugar, candy, I eat cookies, and I still have physique, you want to know how? Uh, click the link below and these guys are just doing nothing but scamming you. They will just make, it's a sales funnel. They'll ask you to click. They'll give you two, three generic videos. And then they'll ask you to sign up for some course. They'll give you some charts, PDF. Very generic information that you can get for free. See, exercise, any kind of exercise is available online for free. Any kind of nutritional advice is available online for free. Everyone thinks he's an expert. And if you take steroids, you can achieve incredible results, but none of them will admit they take steroids. They'll tell you, I'm doing naturally. So then just imagine, even with the free advice, even with the free videos, even with the free content, still why people are unable to lose weight? Why they are not able to get in shape? Because you need to be guided properly. Just simply seeing something online, some YouTube and, ah, oh, okay, I'll see this and I'll do. No. So after you have all this data that is written down and evaluated and studied by a professional, okay, then he'll draw out a customized program for you. A customized one, okay? Like for example, me, if I were to give someone a program, Instead of two hours or three hours in the gym, I would say you will train 20 minutes uh, three times a week, three or four times a week. One will be heavy weights, suppose gym, heavy weights, short duration, 20 minutes. Next time will be like medium weights, but it will be medium duration. Third one will be longer weights, multiple body parts, but for long. And in terms of rest, the first one, where it's heavy, long rest, where it's medium, medium amount of rest, and where it's endurance based, is uh, no, hardly any rest. And most of all, you might do even circuit training. And on the fourth day, if you do come, it'll be recovery. Nothing but exercise, stretching, 
uh, like yoga poses because you need to you know keep the joints flexible no? but why i don't give people okay do chest so much do back so much do, you can't have one size fits all and yes one of the core protocols i follow is every set that you do set means suppose you take the weight you do 10 times it's one set then you do it again and do it 10 times it's a second set so you should take a weight where every time at the 10th rep you can't do one more you just cannot do and see keep in mind there is a rep range also 4 to 6 is power 6 to 8 is mass 8 to 12 is you know you want shape and you know, cut down see i'm just giving you generic advice but it would be very specific basically the problem with bodybuilding or exercise you can't have one size fits all you have to customize it to a person and yes nutrition is very very important more important than everything else and based on your energy levels based on how much you how you feel how much do you burn what are your uh, energy levels throughout the day how do you feel you customize it yeah you can't uh, you can't have a one size fits all oh, you eat meat eat beef eat seafood it will not work yeah and that is why when one of uh, my members his name is swastik patil always comments below his, my, below my videos when he's uh, when he told the guy uh, because he has been following my content he said without a mentor without guidance without a structured program without discipline dedication consistency you'll never you'll never achieve success i bet you so he said okay i challenge you i take the bet so i chimed in i said i support swastik you're not going to achieve any success because this guy is not consistent man he doesn't have any consistency he doesn't have any program he doesn't know what he's doing he doesn't have any notes he doesn't observe what he's eating he doesn't know anything this one shape hmm. so how can you achieve success it's like the same which i told you know this guy wants to get to the first rank highest marks what are you doing i don't know how much are you studying i don't know when do you study here and there what did you study i don't know how do you help such a person here? <sighs> See, keep in mind, if you are looking for the cheap and easy way out, okay, which is not wrong, I many of you don't have the money, then at least go to a gym which is affordable, okay? See the trainer, have a look at his physique. Most of them will be juiced up. But they would have technique. At least they would know what they're doing. And that, you can at least approach them and follow a consistent program. Don't take supplements. They sell because they get a commission. Don't ever take steroids. And uh, don't do more heavy than what is required. If you need one guy standing here, one guy here, one guy behind, and all of you are pushing, that is not exercise. That is trying to boost your ego and show off. Okay, and like Swastik Patel, he said in the group finally, without consistency, without dedication, without being dedicated every single day and having a right program, you will never achieve any result, man. Impossible. See, I trained by myself looking at YouTube and looking at uh, reading articles for six years. My results where up, down, up, down, in, in fact, it became worse. I even, you know, took steroids just to get faster. I became worse. Seriously, I became, from being, uh, running a half marathon, 3.30 is a cutoff time. I ended up uh, literally there. Imagine, after six years of trying every single day, finally, when, after being mocked and made fun of, when I took a professional Olympic coach, Less than six months, not a joke, less than six months, I shattered the record which I never had in my life. In my school days, high school days, running the 1,500 meters, 
the speed at which I ran when I was light, when I was 50 kilos and sprinting like mad, trained under my PT sir, I ran even faster. Can you believe? And that too with knee injury, lower back injury, with having uh, hemorrhoids, uh, losing blood and I was still the fastest and the healthiest I ever was. That's the power of coaching. So in conclusion, what I want to tell you is, no? if it's a passing wish, a casual thing, oh, I want a physique, oh, I want this, oh, I want muscles, oh, you'll never achieve it, man. You might see a little bit of progress here and there. It'll all go away. But if you're really serious, it's a burning desire. If you genuinely want to make a difference, then get yourself a mentor. I'm not trying to say book my services. I'm not a... Even though I have awareness of bodybuilding and marathon training, half marathon, not full, half, and a triathlon. I'm not... Uh, I don't want to start giving because for that you need a proper coach. I do know the fundamentals which I have taught other people, but I don't want to because you need to be qualified. That's why I don't advertise this service. And even if people do ask me, even sometimes people ask me, what steroid do I take? I said, I'm not going to advise you, sorry. Because you don't know the person, man. You need to be and see and interact, no? Can I help them get results? 100%, I can. At least them reading the internet versus getting guidance from me. Have I done it? Yes, but I don't encourage it. I would rather have you go to someone who can be with you now and who can be with you during the exercise. I ran a health club and gym. I used to train people there. So I was not training them for this thing, but improvement and people loved uh, my coaching. So I hope this gives you some insight. And to you, young man, I'm talking to you. If it's a casual wish, you'll never succeed. I open challenge, no? As long as you're in my group, let's see, next year. Forget next year. Six months. Wait, three months. You'll be the same. Okay, only if you do running, jogging, maybe you'll be a little faster. But you're going to achieve the results you want. Because for that, you need to have a well-designed program a coach and proper nutrition. And then, as you go further, it's the outfits, the supplements, so many things. That's why someone who's trained under a professional coach, even at the age of 15, they are top level athletes, national level champions. That's the power of coaching and mentoring. And yes, hard work and perseverance and consistency and everything, sleep, nutrition, exercise. So I hope this gives you some insight. Let me know what are your thoughts. Because remember guys, YouTube, reading articles, and WhatsApp university experts. In fact, if you ask them, show me your physique, none of them have any. They'll just fart around. The very fact that they didn't even ask, what do you do, first tell me that. And without knowing what you do, just started, you know, like verbal diarrhea, just like you, you know, when you want to shit and you have diarrhea, and you held it for some time, and you go to the toilet and finally everything, like dumb and dumb, everything comes out. Ah, stupid. Alright? Chal, you guys take care. Let me know your thoughts and comments.